Hello everyone, welcome to the Darkest Dungeon. It is apparently week 20, and also episode 20. That's handy. It's been one episode a week, that makes sense. In the last episode, we went off with our new recruits, uh, Murray and Megistos. Murray is actually still okay-ish. She could go out on another mission, perhaps. Not sure I want to do that. Let's see what there is to do. There is um, a boss fight in two places now. Both of them are medium missions, so that would make a long episode. And I'm not against doing a long episode right now, so maybe we will. A Vestal thing with less stress damage is really good, because I have noticed, uh, as has Bagel IRL, that the Vestal seems to take a lot of stress damage more than anybody else. Uh, and a less st stun skill chance, but a low speed. Actually, that might be good, because obviously it means that the Vestal will go last, which gives us the opportunity to actually take damage. I've just noticed my microphone's a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn that down. It seems to have reset itself. So if the whole uh, if the whole game gets really loud, uh, really quiet halfway through, it's because I just turned the volume down. Uh, Hero's Ring, just a virtue chance, which is not that good. I'm considering doing the Warrens, the Inchoate Flesh. I have seen Northern Line do this, and it looks uh, pretty difficult, so uh, I'm up for that. It's a level 1 mission, so we can take our level 2 characters. How are our level 2 characters doing? This is the Warrens, which is all the sharp, stabby stuff. Uh, the Warrens is more plaguey than than bleed uh, than anything else. I think bleed's good in the Warrens, but some plague will be good, so maybe we should take a Plague Doctor. We could take Jekry. Everyone seems to be um, quite de-stressed, which is very helpful. Jekry's perfect in the third position. Psycho is good in the first position, obviously. I think we'll take our level 2 people. Try and get them to level 3, and then we have a mix and match bundle of, of level 3 people, which is going to be really good. Uh, yeah, we like we like the Man at Arms. And then we might as well take Dutch at the back, which seems to be what we've been doing a lot. We could take um, Miri at the back. The Man at Arms has a mark. Oh, he marks himself. That's right. Uh, and... I mean, this unit can do its own mark, which is fine. And this has got a beast thing. I think there are beasts in the Warrens. Yeah, that seems right. Let's take Miri. Miri could do with some level. It looks like they've only just got to level 2, so we'll try and bring them in line with the rest of the uh, the rest of the level 2s rather than be sort of on the cusp of level 1, and that seems like a good lot of people. We have 18,000, so let's go back to the estate and see if there's anything we want to do there. Maybe upgrade something? We can't really upgrade these. We need a lot of pictures. But maybe we can upgrade the people who are on the roster, which is represented by this little icon here, which is very helpful. Uh, though we're not using that, we're not using that. Maybe we could, um... Maybe we could unlock Blackjack. It's a front unit, though. Hounds Harry is good. We'll unlock Hounds Harry and put a level in it, and then we'll switch it over. Take off... I mean, that does everybody, I think. So we'll take this one off, since we're not using it. We have a guard, which also activates Repost. Uh, in the form of Holmesy, who has turned out to be a very good character, so glad you came along. Speaking of whom, well, I'll do Psycho first. Psycho seems to be okay. We can't get any more levels in these until we've unlocked this, and that's a lot of stuff we're going to need. But I feel okay trying the Inco Hate. Oh, do we have a healer? No, we can't take Jekry because we need a healer. Which is going to have to be Bagel, I think. Again. It could be Ash. No, Ash won't go. And we don't have another uh, Vestal, which means we can only rely on... Yeah, it's going to have to be Bagel again. That's a, that's a problem. Where is our collection of occultists? Pete or Bagel? I actually think we should take Pete, because Pete's been around... Right, we got Pete back. I don't want to be the Abbey. I'm pretty sure I clicked on the guild. Thank you. Pete's upgraded. Bagel is not. Well, these have been turned out to be pretty good. Since Pete is already upgraded, we can save the cash. So, sorry, Jekry. I said that really disdainfully. I honestly did not mean to. It's just the way my voice exploded with terror. You've got all the things we want you to have. You've got 
that's a mark as well, which is pretty good. And that's the dodge removal, which helps against the things that do stress, because all the stressy things seem to be the ones with dodge as well. Eldritch. I think Eldritch is in there. I think Warren's... Uh, Wield is Eldritch, actually. Warren's is not, but we're not really using you for damage, so that's okay. And you've got uh, still got these on, so that, that helps out. Although I'm gonna <laughs> gonna want to bring them all back. All right, let's um, let's unequip all trinkets except for those. No, I didn't want. So we'll put those back. Right, Holmesy. We're getting straight into this. I'm I'm happy. It's because we don't have anything. I can't faff around in the uh, in the meta game in in the upgrading of things part. We've got handmaster things. Four dodge, one speed, but a debuff. Um, oh, we've got a quirk. One speed if below 50%. That's okay. I don't really fancy this. It doesn't seem very useful, but that seems okay. More dodge. Although you're going to be in a support position. That dodge thing seems good if you're using the guard dog um, skill, but we're not. Do we have bleed skills? Is that what this is? Yeah, that's a bleed skill. Maybe we should think about using that. So, a uh, bit less speed, but that's that's uh, six. Not that's five now. That's only four when we're winded. When winded is applied, I suppose I should say. Uh, I don't really need range skills, although we could do with maybe blight resist and less bleed resist. There's a lot of blight going on. Maybe we'll give that to um, Holmesy there. So Miri, did I say Holmesy before? I didn't mean to. Miri will get. Oh, we should give you that 30% heal skills. Maybe. Um, damage versus beast. Sure. And then Holmesy is going to be doing the protection thing with the repost. So Holmesy will get the resistances. Is that the same as that? Blight. Skill. Oh, you got? A, do you have a bleed skill? That might be helpful. Let's check. Bleed, bleed, bleed. Bleed that doesn't really help. I want to make the most out of these, but I mean, I kind of feel like I should already know what I'm doing. That'll do. There you go. Protection. I don't like the fact these things keep slowing us down. You want two. Uh, more accuracy is probably a good idea. Excuse me? Where's my uh, plus five? No? And then you just get a shitload of protection, I guess. More max HP, more dodge, less accuracy. That seems good. More stun resist, more max HP. I don't know. It's difficult. Uh, less stress damage? How about that? You might flip out completely. These are okay. Alright, yeah, that'll do. We won't spend too long on it and min maxi all that stuff. I want to take maybe three of these. Um, I learned that many things can be opened with shovels. Uh, like chests, basically. So, I'm going to take a couple more than I normally would. This is a full inventory, but we'll be camping and eating a lot of food on the way. And I think we'll just embark now. I don't think there's anything else we want to do. For blood rituals and summoning rites have begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become... Burdensome. Burdensome. The thing is more terrible well, than I can describe. An incoherent probably, yeah. jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. It does sound pretty gross. Well, we know how this works. <laughs> Hi. Surprise, great. Right, kill that. What can we do here? Pull this. You're going very fast, which I'm not necessarily a fan of. I think we just hit things right now. We're not in much of a... We're in an, advantage, an advantageous position because we haven't taken any stress or HP damage from this... Uh... As the fiend falls, that may have been overkill. But we did it. So, this wow. done? No! Uh, that's okay. That's not okay. <laughs> this is the only thing you do. That's fine. We've got plenty of heals, and as long as we don't have stress, I think we'll be okay. 
uh, we'll pull this. I don't know what order we are expecting to go in at this stage because obviously they went last. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> it at least brought it into range just because of the clearing out of the corpse. So I'm happy with that. You are bleeding, whatever. Get over it. Holmesy, no winching. Not winching. Brilliant. Bellow. We could just debuff everything and try and hit them, but. What we like here? 5 to 10 damage, 4 to 9. We could kill it, let's try. We did. Uh, I guess we just hit it a lot. Let's get our Houndmaster has a bonus to Beast on that Hound's Rush. Maybe we should heal yourself just in case. Yeah, that's quite a lot of heal, so I'm okay with that. And you're shit at. Uh, just the plus Beast? 20, plus, 20 against Beast and 70 against Marked. So if you mark a beast earlier on, yeah, that's the bleed one. Then we've got a, a really good chance. One damage, two HP. Okay. Probably could have dragged that out and tried to heal or something stupid, but why? This is um, a very surprising thing to start with. Plague Doctor and a Grave Robber. We should probably bring our Grave Robber on a, a, a journey soon, but I'd like to name them. No. Okay. Torch and enter. I didn't bring as many torches as I normally would, but I brought a lot of food in case we need to eat it. This is very lucky. We've been very, very lucky in this situation. So I think we should use this opportunity to mark and remove the protection from one of these. And I think it's going to be that one. Because it's a beast, it has protection, and we will benefit from the mark as well on the next uh, round. This will knock it back one, maybe. And stun it. Can we hit that? We can, but it won't do enough damage. We could debuff everything. Uh, no, we could debuff nothing. Except the one that probably counts the most, so there is that. Bleed? Not even a bleed skill. Uh, then no bleed. Fair enough. I'll let you off. Uh, I might as well stun this. We're probably going to get some stress because we haven't managed to kill these, which is unfortunate. At least we won't get the um, damage. I suppose that's all we've avoided there. Plus no... No disease. Okay, good. No bleed. Oh, well dodged. I think I upgraded everyone as much as I intended to. I honestly don't remember if I did their weapons, but we're here. Please, let me have a go. This is the problem with these negative speed uh, trinkets, I suppose. You lose dodge. And mark. We should do that. Let's try. Resisting the fucking debuff. The only point of that. So you rush. That. 16. It's a lot of damage against that particular thing. And a bleed. But still three rounds. Yeah, bring that into range. See if I give a shit. So we get a kill plus maybe. No, you dodged. I hate the fact these things have such high dodge. So I'll try and... Um, try and stun... The one that's likely to die. Oh, it moves you forwards. Fair enough. I mean, these are interchangeable as are these two, which is pretty nice. No. Please don't stress out. I could use the, um... I could use the de-stress thing that we brought along. Do I want to? Ah, finally, a debuff actually hits its target. Four to nine. Quite likely. Six to twelve, definitely. Does this do damage as well? One to two. It can do. But I don't want to uh, risk it, really. So I guess we... Kill this. Okay. <coughs> it was a risk, but I, I knew that we would kill that. Like, completely outright, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll... Try and heal some... No! This one! Bastard. Uh, okay. Uh... Well, that wasn't great. Um, these things are going to get a go. We really need to find some trinkets that don't reduce our speed to such a huge extent because we are always going last and we don't get the opportunity to kill something at the start of the round. Which is extremely important that we do. No dodging. Excellent. Especially with this H this uh, stress has skyrocketed. It's outrageous. We can get rid of it when we camp, don't forget. But... I don't really want to rely on that. Oh, what is this? 
Brought low and driven into the mud. Fuck you then. I'm out. Well, <laughs> there's a curio which looked like holy water would work. Oh, fair. Crying out loud. Can I go for five minutes without fighting something? Didn't even get a uh, surprise this time, so we're probably going to go last in most cases because we're so slow. We have a lot of uh, negative speed. Or, or we have low speed, I suppose, is what I'm saying there. But we don't need to do anything with this because it's already had its turn. We don't need to heal anybody. Eldritch, are you Eldritch? No, you're all human. Dodge. I mean, it could dodge, but we could just, like, do a lot of damage. Which I think is worthwhile. <gasps> dodge! Probably should have done what I said I was going to do. I mean, maybe we, uh... Maybe we do this. Against this. It does do some damage, but it's not really too amazing. Right. We could try and bleed everything. That might be a good idea. It did hit everything, which is pretty pretty outrageous. Don't know why you're so much slower than you. I suppose uh, it's still based on the dice roll. And they it re-rolls the turn order every turn. Uh, in case you didn't know. You can just do damage here. Oh, I'm a fan of that. Because if you'd have done one less, that would have died from bleed and there wouldn't be a corpse. So, thanks for that. Yes, give it your best fucking shot. You can move forwards and that's alright with me. Well, we don't need to heal, so I'm not too bothered about the fact that we can't. I'd like to kill this, but I don't think we can. Still, that was the highest roll. It's got three HP left. Ha! Try it. Try and fucking see, mate. That brings everything into kill range. Everything is dead on its next turn. So now... We can hopefully get a kill. A kill? Maybe a heal or a de-stress in from one of our units. Right. That's going to kill it. <laughs> we would like to have a go. So if you can avoid having your turn. Oh, that's brilliant. Excellent, that's what we want to see. Just get some de-stressing going on. That's not very much de-stressing, but it brings us down just that tiny little amount. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. I'm more interested in heirlooms right now. Books. I'm not, not too concerned about books. I mean, I don't want to give us any opportunity to get extremely stressed out. And the fact we got these two trinkets straight away... It's kind of... It's almost upsetting. Because we're going to have to carry them around this entire way. Oh, it is there. I was expecting... It's kind of half expecting it to be here. But we're on the right track. That room's empty, but there's a battle on the way. There's two battles here. But what we could do is beat the boss. We could camp. Do we want to camp? I don't know. We're quite stressy, but we're not hurty. But the camp can uh, give us buffs. Did I... Yeah, I should have put the light up first. The camp can give us buffs. It will help against the inchoate flesh. Look. <laughs> That's not how it works. Yeah, resisted. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. So we'll try and uh, make sure everyone's got full HP when we get out of this fight, if we can. And we'll just de-stress. It's such an easy fight. I feel like we just do our best with the uh, units that we've got right now. If I stun this rather than trying to kill it. Yeah, then we can have another go. With reconstruction. is a crit, which is going to make you feel better. Not ideal. And this will make everyone feel a little bit better. Apart from the person who needs to feel a little bit better. We might as well battle heal the healer. And then early in the next turn, we can top this off. I mean, this bit of extra, this bit of HP here, it's not the end of the world if we don't do anything about it. Alrighty then, and what have we got? Just a curio. Okay. I don't even know what you said, I wasn't paying attention. The sack's contents are mine. Gold! Gold! Always the brave and the foolhardy alike. You got the power to 
You're in. Okay then. Better stop that before we get content match because that was such an amazing rendition of Duran Duran Duran's gold. I think it's Duran Duran. Who else would it be? Okay. I think we just fight the boss whilst we're as strong as we can, as strong as we are. But we will camp to buff and de-stress and get some inventory space. Together. We will eat. Furtive and vulnerable. Excellent. Rats in a maze. We will skills. Right, what have we got? Encourage will not help you. That, mm, pretty good. Also pretty good. Not valuable. Kind of okay. I'm not sure how much stress the inchoate flesh actually causes. Eh. That could be valuable. Prevents nighttime ambush but increases stress. But this has got the uh, Hound's Watch. Which is four. I think it's valuable not to have to fight at night. We've also got an Encourage, which I can use against, sort of, upon you. That's good. That's a good amount of stress relief. All companions reduce stress by ten. But I could do... You had a... Everyone reduces stress. And you. Everyone else takes less stress damage. Which I think is good. Right, just in case the inchoate flesh does a lot of stress, which I think it might. We've got one tick left, and I don't think you can do anything with one, so we'll just rest. Right, we have enough food left in case we get hungry on the way, which is not uh, unlike... It's not likely, but it's not impossible. Uh, and also, we can eat that food if, for some reason, we've got a, a fight that we didn't scout. don't think we can eat during the fight, though. Hmm... Ah, that's okay. That's basically one of the. Uh, right. It's basically his. Safety. Undone. Go. Right, this is a. This is a scary son of a bitch. Right, we've got Eldritch, which is pretty good because we do have um, damage against Eldritch, but it's all Eldritch. You just healed it, but. Uh, excuse me. I would like a go, please. Ah, that's blight. That's okay. We don't mind blight. I don't think these are movable. They're 200% move resist, so they're not going to reorder themselves. Uh, I think maybe we start off with this. That was really good. Everything is debuffed, so this has now got the lowest speed on... Oh, that's minus four. That's quite fast, though. So now this has got quite a low speed, so we should be faster than it, and I'm hoping that that's true. Any dodges here? Dodge, 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 dodge. No, we've got some protection. This doesn't help against protection. In which case, I guess we just take the fact that we've got uh, an Eldritch Slayer. That's versus Eldritch, right? Yeah. And a squishy thing. So we hit it. How much HP have you? 100 HP. We've done 100 HP before. No problem. Famous last words. So if we spread the damage out about this... So the reason I think that these attacks are slightly better than they are in other situations is they all contribute. It's basically four things with 25 HP each. So if we do four damage to it for several turns, that all comes off the same 200%, uh, the same 100 HP. Whereas normally, uh, that would come off, you know, way less. We'd have to hit the one thing, and it would only get like, one damage per round for two rounds. Pass! Nice one. One damage per round for two rounds on one enemy is not much use. It's like 1% per round, but this is 4% per round, which is four times as effective. Right, this is versus beast and marked, but nothing is marked and nothing is a beast. We can remove the protection from something, but we don't really care to hit that. If we get two of these at the front, I might start using that, but at this stage I'm just going to keep using the Hounds Harry. Stack up those bleeds, everything's bleeding, that's that's six. That's eight damage on the next round, at 8% of its HP, obviously. Uh, and I guess now we just start squishing it. I think this has turned out to be a really, really good party to bring for this. Uh, we had a little bit of bad luck on the way. Let's dodge. No one's got any dodge. But it's Eldritch, so we get some bonus damage. We had a bit of bad luck on the way, just on the number of H, uh, number of fights that we had to deal with. But right, it can heal itself, so that's the problem. Especially since there's two of these. Things. Aren't you in repost mode? I thought you were in repost mode. Whatever. So you're going to heal yourself as well. You're going to heal the other bit. Of you. That's basically this round done. But this, these dots are going to just ruin it. 
Absolutely ruin it. There we go. We've done more damage, I think, this round than we, uh... Good dodge, thank you. Then we, then it heals, so that's valuable. What are these, though? 70%, 30%. So now we start thinking about de-protting them. It's only going to be for one round, though, don't forget. They'll, they'll reconfigure themselves next round, but we could still, uh, possibly benefit. I mean, it, it may turn into something else with a lot of protection against it, so... We've got a lot less dodge and a lot less speed. We can't knock it back and stun it. How long does this last? One more round. We should re... reapply this. This one resisted, but that's okay. It's not going to be doing... Oh, good dodge. It's not going to be doing any more healing, and if we keep dodging those, that's also going to be very valuable. Two dodges in a row. Miri, you absolute champion. Champion! Now, I probably, now I think about it, should have applied that to this. But, like, need I? Can I stun one? 50%. I could try. I might as well just do damage. Ultimately, we're going to win the fight by killing the thing, right? So we try that. Dodge again? Yeah, that's okay. What does this do? It's a stun. So now we know about it. Stun? Yeah, we resisted. That's really good. Well done. Okay, we've got a squishy one that's going to heal. But it's also going to get a go. Which <laughs> so I'm not a fan of. No healing. Five is fine. That's basically one round of bleed off again. Who cares? And this actually did have protection. So we've, we've scored on that. So no need healing. I don't think so. Not with this this little HP. But maybe if we're gonna if we're gonna continue um, continue the dungeon afterwards, which I think we are. Ten, nice. Ten more of those, please. Uh, okay. So if we're gonna continue the dungeon, which I think we are, we should definitely have some HP to. Uh, to, to do it with. Yeah, that's a good amount of bleed going on there. Undulating invasion. Oh, I did hit. It's a blight. You can can you cure blight? I don't remember if I gave you that one. Dodge. Excellent. I wonder if a stunned one of these can't sort of mutate. That'd be nice. Do we get to go first? Yes. I'm gonna heal myself though. It's a good heal. And obviously no bleed, because we debuffed our bleed on purpose. I'm thinking maybe we can just sort of... Hit. We're going to kill it. Sorted. That mark lasted a lot longer than I anticipated. And we were very lucky that it uh, happened the way it did. We'll stack that with that. We don't need the gold, but... Excuse me. These only stack up to three. You what? Don't really need the rest. Let's eat some food. Might as well take it, because there's a chance... We'll continue adventuring, because there's way more stuff around. And there's a chance that we're going to want to, um... You know, stack more gold with that. There's nothing up here. We could go back to this and this. So we might as well go around. That was a really good fight. And as usual... Uh, shit your face. Did you even... Can you? No, it's the, uh... Plague Doctor that can do that. That's alright, it's uh, two damage. You'll be fine. As usual, we've done in the middle of the fight. No, you didn't let me use the. It's, it's. Holmesy. Ha! Holmesy, you are a alcohol fiend. You just see a barrel of booze and you go for it. It's like, come on! You know what this is about. 70, 70, 60, 100. You're doing it. Well then, Yeah, beat the boss in the middle of the dungeon. Explore dungeon. The pack has a map inside. Fair. Indeed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Battle. Empty. Trap. Don't know. Thanks for not quite going far enough. That's okay. Why are you stressing out? Chill. You're not even backtracking. This is all new stuff. Ah, that's a good use of a key. I think. Should be. Surprise as well. I really like the, uh, this, but maybe not at this stage. Do we have any beasts? You're a beast, so we will 
crystal on the... Uh, we get more damage versus a marked. Maybe we can one-shot this on the next round if we do that. Very likely that we can. I will activate uh, a riposte by damaging this. Especially if this one of these tries to hit everybody. That would be really helpful. Uh, and then... I guess we just start wailing away on these and try and kill him. Or get him into a position where they can't do shit. Maybe that's not a great position? Hit that. Good job. Nope. That's not a great position. Oh, you dodged the... Repost? Outrageous. Good job. Well done. I mean, that being in that position was obviously bad for it, but this being in this position was not bad for it. So... That's good to know. These ones can only work from the second position. No, no, no. Yeah, good job. Right. Maybe some HP. What are you like? Eh. Uh, one of you could probably do with it. You're marked, so I'll give you some HP. These bleed resist. I think this has bled maybe twice ever. That's fine. Stun is not so great, but you've already had your turn. You'll be out of the next turn, but... You know, you win some, you lose some. It's all the same to me. Dodge zero. Speed five. We might as well attack this one. It has no protection. Get rid of the ones we can get rid of. Yeah, one shot it when we could. That's fine. I'm a fan of that. There's a chance that we didn't... Ooh, well done. Excellent. There was a chance that we didn't kill that on the last round anyway. So setting ourselves up... There was a good chance that we didn't kill it. So setting ourselves up for the strong chance that we do kill it... This round, I think, was the correct tactic in that situation. Uh, oh, okay. We're going to get a little bit of stress, but I think that's okay. We can leave at any time without worrying about... We can't retreat from the combat, but we can leave the dungeon at any time and we won't suffer the stress that we would normally suffer because we've done what we came here to do. Um... No more stress from you. Can we, like... Can't get rid of these corpses, which is a shame. Ten damage is decent. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Another fucking... 20% stun skill chance. Is that good? Maybe that's good? I don't know if that's good. 20% stun skill chance. Well, it's probably going to sell more than... ...than this. Green like Molten Envy, black like Endless Night. Why do you have to be so melodramatic about everything? To bring a key. But, I mean, do I want it? <laughs> yes. Yes, that's very good. Right, sweet. So we'll keep going. What else can we uh, win? There may be something here. But I think if we just do this one more battle and then leave, we're going to be fine. Someone with no stress, check this out. Are we on the thing? No? Oh, we've already checked it out. No, we can't have already checked it out. Yes, heat. Heating is fine. I don't know why we couldn't use that. I was pushing the button, but it wouldn't let me. Whatever. Maybe Psycho was just like, nah. I really don't give a shit about that thing. Cannot compel me. Bring this forward so we can see it. There we go. That apparently can vomit from anywhere, but... Ooh, a crit on the vomit. It's a lot of stress. No disease, though, so that's fine. I mean, 8 to 12, it's dead anyway. Oh, it dodged! Well, we get another go on the next round. Uh, I will activate Riposte because I like it so much. I'd like to debuff. Probably should have used some more debuffs over this entire dungeon, to be fair, but... Yeah, good. So that one does do everybody, so we need to remember that. But you're going to repost everything that hits you, and it's active for two more rounds, which is excellent. I really wanted to get rid of the one that's doing us stress and possibly disease. Our HP has no value in this fight unless we actually die, which is not going to happen. Uh, versus Beast? You're a beast. 8 to 12. There is a chance. There's a great chance if you crit. I'm a fan of that. We tore it to pieces. It doesn't even leave a corpse. 
Uh, so I don't care about weird reconstruction at this stage, so we might as well mark this. I expect this will die to these uh, chappies here. Absolutely did. And you have the range to get that. So now that it's marked, but it's not a... It is a beast. It's marked in a beast. So we can just beat the shit out of it. Try and get rid of these corpses, I guess. Mark again. Two marks. Uh, resisted the debuff. That's fine. Because you get to do 9 to 15. It's not enough. That's enough. <laughs> That's two crits in a row. You can come along on the next... Uh, mission. Marish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Ah, whatever. <laughs> that was that was terrible. You had the the worst, uh, the best stress, and now you got the worst. Well, let's go. We've picked up a decent amount of loot. It was a very quick, uh, medium level run, actually. We killed the Inco Hate Flesh, uh, which is brilliant, and we got a load of stuff that I'm not going to wait to happen. We got two level threes, and Pete got fuck all XP from that, so whatever. Obsessed with cleanliness. I think that means that. I don't know what that'll mean. Probably to do with uh, Curios again. This is good, though. As is this. This and these two together. Very good. Having extra damage against Eldritch. Quite, uh, quite valuable. I can still oh, yeah. see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. Tim's gone missing, but is de stressed. Fucking hell. Art does indeed imitate life. Let's see who we will put where. I think it's about time that Holmesy uh, got de stressed a little bit. Well, we can sort by stress as well. Yeah, Holmesy and Psycho are the two craziest stressiness. And. Oh, you will. Oh, you'll go anywhere. In that case, you can go and get pissed <laughs> with everybody else. You haven't seen Tim. Why is this so expensive? Is it literally because it's got more than 50% HP? Uh, stress. We could reduce it. But didn't we want to upgrade... Can we do this? No. <gasps> Not the blacksmith. The guild. <gasps> no. We're way off of that. Oh, we're not way off. It's one. We're one journey away from this. I'm going to avoid using anything. Uh, in which case, we'll just pay it. We've got plenty of cash. 21,000. Uh... Yeah, both of you. Go and drink together. Make it a double and keep them coming. Mm, making me thirsty. Obviously, that's a, a whiskey. A Jura or a Isla of some description. Or a Lefroy. Everyone likes a Lefroy. What I didn't check was whether those two have had their thing done. But we will now sort by level. Check our... Yep. 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 No. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No. I mean, these people have all been out quite recently, so we should definitely be uh, upgrading them. I'm just not quite sure where to stop. <laughs> because we could spend all our money like this. And it's likely that we will, if we're not careful. We've already upgraded Marie. Even though she is brand new. Right, everyone's upgraded as much as I'm prepared to go. Tim's missing. So let's see what we've got available for us and sort of plan out our next... Uh, our next episode. It's focus ring. Accuracy, massively less dodge. Not quite sure in what situation that is valuable. Don't forget we got our new trinkets as well. What is that? It's a level 3. So that'll be a long mission with our level 3s. Scrolly scroll. It's going to be these four. The likely lads. Well, maybe we could bring a level 2 who's nearly level 3. But I think I'd rather level up the level 2s and a level 1. And then... Send them on level 3 missions when they're level 3. This just seems good. More stress damage. Less stress damage if it's bright. More if it's not. And greater stress heals. I think that is when you perform them. Penelope Puddles is our jester. Do we have a stress heal? No. 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 Yes. Don't know if that does everybody or one person, but I believe it, it, since it's a tune... I would expect that everyone would be affected by it. So we do have a stress heal unit there. Uh, and that's a long that's a long mission. I'm not really a fan of that. Maybe later on when we haven't had a, another 40 minute episode very recently. These are all mediums and... That's a short. Short veteran. Short apprentice. That seems nice. And then a medium apprentice to kill the siren. So we could take some people into the cove. 
That seems like a good idea. Level some people up. Maybe get uh, these two into um, into level three range. Hmm. So trouble with Miri is good in the third position. Dutch is good in the third position. Where do we put our heel edge? You know. It was already in, obviously, this position. Actually, you're better off in that position. Never mind. Uh, or we could just do a no healer mission and <laughs> hope for the best. We're going to have to do 100% of rune battles, but it does involve a lot of battles. Anyway, let's not overthink this too much. We will come back in the next episode and discuss a bit more then what we're going to do. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.